The primary funding source of The David Pakman Show is your support through our membership program. I invite you to sign up at joinpacman.com. Grab yourselves a membership. We do an extra show every single day for our paid members. It's called The Bonus Show. Oh, The Bonus Show, where you want to make money. But everybody else that makes money to fund themselves is bad. Well, thank you, Alex. Many people enjoy The Bonus Show daily, and so I would not listen to Alex Jones on that. You can sign up at joinpacman.com and use the coupon code big voting 22 big voting 22 to get yourself a healthy discount off of the cost of a membership. There is a video going viral of pro choice activists crushing. Yes, the Democratic Party over immediate opportunistic fundraising attempts saying, oh, the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade rush us money, give us money so that we can fix this. And we're going to look at that video. Now, I am thrilled that this is getting attention. In fact, I tweeted about the vile nature of both sides immediately fundraising off of the Supreme Court decision. Last week, I tweeted, quote, is there anyone not raising money off of today's Supreme Court decision? Fundraising emails off the charts, right wingers saying now is the time to keep going. Give us money left wingers saying give us money to fix this. And I didn't find either of those uh, per particularly good faith, uh, at rather finding it completely opportunistic. So let's check out this video, which has gone completely viral. This, this is Zoe Warren and Julianne Diaredita of Rise Up for Abortion. They spoke to MSNBC and they beautifully point out the absurdity now of Democrats and yes, Republicans as well, the Republicans as well, don't get me wrong, of Democrats immediately saying, give us cash so that we can fix this when we know why this happened. And part of it has to do with Democrats. And of course, much of it has to do with the fact that I mean, we, when we you start the sequence of events, it's Donald Trump won in 2016 and then appointed Supreme Court justices. And then it, it was the exact playbook. Republicans started challenging abortion at the state level with the goal of appealing it to the Supreme Court, with the goal of getting the Supreme Court to overturn Roe v. Wade. We we predicted it in 2016, and that's exactly what happened. Let's check out this video. Um, absolutely fascinating and well said. So I received a text message from Joe Biden's campaign yesterday saying that the Supreme Court had overturned Roe versus Wade and that it was my responsibility to then rush $15 to the Democratic National Party. <laughs> um, and I thought that was absolutely outrageous because my rights should not be a fundraising point for them um, or a campaigning point. Uh, they have had multiple opportunities to codify Roe into law over the past 20, 30, 40, 50 years, and they haven't done it. And if they're going to keep campaigning on this point, they should actually do something about it. Yeah. What are you most worried about, Julia? I'm most worried about what comes next because Roe versus Wade was a precedent for Oberfell versus Hodges, Loving versus Virginia, Irving versus Texas, gay marriage, interracial marriage, and privacy in the bedroom. Correct. And those, as Clarence Thomas came out yesterday, they're going to be falling like dominoes. Um, you come from Texas. You're in yes. Austin, Texas. There's a trigger law in place in Austin in 30 days. Yes. Abortion's going to be banned in your state. Abortion has been banned at six weeks in my state since last September which is an essential all out ban because most women don't even realize they're pregnant before that point. And there are, there are women in Texas who have already died and have already been arrested for having an abortion or a miscarriage because we can't really tell that. It seems like you have obvious anger towards the Democratic Party because you feel as if they've missed chances to codify a row up mm -hmm. until this point and then here we are. What does that mean for you when it comes to the midterm elections and getting more Democrats um, elected to move forward with trying to codify um, Roe? Well, when it comes down to the, the primaries, which I think are coming up in the next couple months, um, it means that we need to get as many people to the polls as possible to vote for more progressive Democrats. We need to get the old white Democrats out of office and put in new younger people who will actually defend the rights of women and people all over this country. And then when it comes to midterms, we need to make sure that we have those same people who voted for the progressive people in the primaries coming back to the midterms and voting again and making sure that these more progressive Democrats get into office and can. So she's absolutely right. I don't tend to do the identity politics stuff in terms of saying we need to get white Democrats out. I want a diversity of representation that that that's me. OK, so don't ascribe saying get white people out to me. That's not the way I would I would use that term. But this is completely spot on in the sense that both parties have used abortion rights as a divisive fundraising issue for decades. I happen to agree 
with the political position of the Democrats as an individual because I'm pro choice. But this has been an issue that's been a fundraising issue on both sides for decades. In some sense, I recognized and I knew that Democrats, I'm sorry, that Republicans benefit from Roe v. Wade in the sense that it's something they can keep fundraising on. As long as Roe v. Wade is there, Republicans can say, give us money to oppose Roe v. Wade. Now they've gotten Roe v. Wade overturned. So some have been emailing and saying, well, now now how are Republicans going to raise money? Well, they're going to be fine. Now they're going to say, let's push for a federal ban on abortion. That would be the next step. Now they've eliminated Roe v. Wade, which kind of uh, uh, enshrines abortion as as a right. But the next step would be, well, let's let's get a ban on it. And at the state level, they can work on bans. They can start working on blue states, right? Even if it's unlikely to succeed, they can say, give us money so we can get abortion banned in California and in Connecticut and in New York and Massachusetts and Maryland or whatever, wherever else. So they're still going to have ways to fundraise. And the crazy thing is the Republican continued fundraising on this issue is is going to be more credible feeling in a sense. Because when you look at the Democratic Party, the protesters here are correct. There have been so many missed opportunities to codify Roe v. Wade and abortion rights and to do so many other things. So while you can pick the side that matches your political position and say, well, I'll give them money, the Republicans now have actually accomplished something major. They, they have gotten Roe v. Wade overturned. And so their fundraising on this issue is almost more credible than that which we're seeing by Democrats. And I got those fundraising emails as well. It, it, there was something pathetic about it. There was something disgusting about it, saying they, they overturned Roe v. Wade. Send us fifteen dollars now. Fifteen dollars to do what exactly? Particularly when uh, we, we need people in the Democratic Party in elected power uh, who are going to fight much harder for it. So very interesting, very interesting viral viral um, interview there. And uh, we'll continue covering that. One of our sponsors is Emmy. Hands down, some of the best ramen noodles I've had. Just like any instant ramen, you pop Emmy into the microwave or on the stovetop for a few minutes and it's ready to go. But what makes Emmy different is that it is packed with 21 grams of protein, lower in sodium, 100% plant based, with 18 grams of fiber for digestive health, and it tastes excellent. So many of the other ramens are bland, simple, artificial. Emmy uses high quality ingredients and recipes. You get a zing of flavor I've never had with any instant ramen. Emmy comes in amazing flavors like spicy beef, Tom Yum shrimp and black garlic chicken. If you try Emmy and don't love it, you get your money back. You'll get five dollars off when you go to Emmy Eats dot com slash Pacman and use the code Pacman at checkout. The link is down below.